Now that the 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 Tell All Part 2 has come and gone, it's truly over. Next is 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After, with one of the Season 9 couples returning. But that's just one pair out of the whole cast. Each of the couples married this season. One had already split by the time that the Tell All finished airing. Where do the rest of the couples stand? Yes, we all watched the Tell All. But that special was filmed back in June as evidenced by the cast photos at the time, so in some cases a lot changed between when the special was filmed and aired. Debris and Miona Bell These two were immediately catching the attention of viewers, however Debris' larger-than-life sense of style and Miona's blackfishing scandal made viewers unsure of what to think. As the season progressed, we saw that most of the couple's conflict came from outside, from Debris' good friend and his parents. They married in Joshua Tree, Jibri's parents couldn't attend. At the tell-all, Jibri showed up ready to throw down and fight with anyone and everyone on the cast, and his judgment was way off. Mohammed Abdelhamed was one of the few with whom he did not pick a fight, but Jibri and Miana are still together. However, Jibri's scorched-earth approach to tell-all tarnished his brand and how people view him, and we don't just mean the cast. Whether it was his idea or the production's suggestion, Jibri soured a lot of viewers' opinions of him. Balal Hatziz and Shaida Sween This couple came out of the gate swinging, with Balal spring that was a test of Shaida when she arrived. He took her to a fake house in a phony van, setting her up to fail, but instead he viewed her as a failure but showed his lovely place. Their prenup drama was overblown, but Bilal's lectures were unending. And yet they married. After securing a seemingly unenforceable addition to the prenup about having kids with no provision for consequences if they don't, Shaida walked down the aisle with Bilal. At the tell-all, she was unhappy that they had not yet gotten pregnant despite so much practice, even throwing shade in Bilal's direction. Also, he had all but banned the word lecture from her vocabulary. Toxic people rarely like hearing partners accurately describe them. But Bilal saw himself in a new light. He was shaken by how everyone saw him as a villain because how he treated Shaida. Patrick had called him out. Shaida was still with him, but he had issues. We'll see more of that play out unhappily ever after this season. Emily Biberly and Kobe Blaze Emily was teaching in China while Kobe worked as an underwear model. The two hooked up and an explosive one-night stand became a long relationship. Months later, they were engaged, Emily was pregnant and they planned to build a life together. COVID-19 kept them apart for two years, but Kobe was finally able to meet his 17-month-old son Coban. Unfortunately, many viewers hated Emily when she breastfed her son and editors worked overtime to give her a bad edit. Things were different at the tell-all. By the time tell-all was filmed, they were married, welcomed baby Scarlett and were in a different place in life. Kobe had his documentation and a job testing asphalt, allowing Emily to quit working as a full-time mom to their two small children, and their vibe as a couple seemed better. And they're still together. Not only did Emily and Kobe seem to have a better relationship at the tell-all, but many viewers mellowed their reactions to Emily. Perhaps some of that was personal growth, but most of it was probably that it's harder to give someone a villain edit when they're out on the tell-all stage surrounded by other cast members. Ariella Weinberg and Binny M. Shibra Ariella and Binny are familiar faces to viewers. They appeared in two seasons of The Other Way before appearing in season 9. They share a child, little Avi. It seems that A.V. is the only thing they have in common. Benny likes to party and is either a cheater or conspicuously behaves in ways that make Ari and multiple access think he cheats and doesn't bother to change it. Ari is a free spirit but not big on partying, and she is also an admittedly jealous person. They have different faiths, and while Ariella has bent over backward to accommodate Benny's Ethiopian Orthodox Christian rituals and celebrations, Benny's first reciprocation was their Jewish wedding ceremony. They are, of course, married. Despite all the reasons I listed and more, they are still together. Benny seems determined to be an MMA fighter and is pursuing that career in Vegas while performing with the circus. On the other hand, Ari isn't even sure she wants to live in Vegas. And yes, they're still together. However, Benny was oddly quiet at the tunnel, and Ariella hardly seemed interested in fighting with other castmates. And seriously, Benny and barely spoke. We didn't hear a rant from Benny's sister or anything. They were lackluster. 
We don't know what the story behind that is. Maybe they are over the drama, or maybe editors trimmed down the role in the tunnel, who knows. Yvette Arellano and Mohamed Abdelhamad Certainly one of the season's most toxic and talked about couples, Eve and Mohamed's age gap gave way to their cultural differences. Before he flew out to see her, Eve changed her diet, drinking and wardrobe to please him. However, she soon found out that this was not enough for Mohamed. He didn't like her values, friends or remaining outfits. But even Mohammed did marry during their season. But it did not mean an end to their issues. A central sticking point for viewers and Eve's friends was that Mohammed threatened to find a new sponsor at one point. People get frustrated with the K-1 visa process and with relationships. Sometimes they threaten to break up and go back home. Mohammed's suggestion of a new sponsor was not that. He was acting like Eve was just his stepping stone to come to the US instead of the reason for his move. It was suspicious. Now they are no longer together. More than a month after the Talal was filmed, but weeks before it aired, Mohammed's cheating texts leaked to the world. In the messages, he made plans to meet with another woman. He spoke about a plan to keep his documentation from Eve but leave her, declaring that there was no way that he could stay married to her. Though they lightly addressed this scandal in an apologue to the Tello, there was more. It is now over, thankfully. Patrick Mendes and Face Ramon Like Bilal, Patrick is an affluent American who fell in love outside the US. He met Face on a random date while attempting to connect with his absent father in Brazil. Instead, the two fell in love. Many viewers wanted to brand Face as some sort of gold digger, but there was never any evidence of this. Instead, most of their conflicts came from family relationships or Patrick's difficulty sharing decision-making. Despite these minor conflicts, they married. They didn't have her father's blessing, but ultimately that did not stop them. Face is pregnant and due in November of 2022. She announced this on Tell All and was not alone. The two acquitted themselves very well. At the Tell All, their biggest drama was Patrick reading Bilal for filth, accurately calling out his manipulation tactics for precisely what they are. Patrick and Face seem to be a happy couple with a few issues to work out, which was also the impression they gave off all season. Cara Base and Guillermo Roger. Their age gap was virtually identical to Jibri and Miona's, but for some reason, the show seemed to focus on theirs and not on the Bells. The two had fallen in love in the Dominican Republic, but adjusting to life in Charlottesville was challenging for Guillermo. Suddenly, Cara was in charge of everything, because it was her car, her bills to pay, and he could not work. They had some friction along the way, but eventually they married. Cara and Guillermo not only tied the knot, but announced at the tell -all that they were expecting their first child together. They are due around the same time Thais and Patrick are, in November of 2022. And of course, they're still together. It's hard to say whether Cara and Guillermo changed anyone's minds during the season or the tell -all. Emily was so dramatically hated until the tell -all, where so much of the loathing evaporated. Kara robbed some people wrong because she could be a little bossy and harsh, but she and Guillermo didn't have enough drama to be a hot topic by the end. Honestly, that's for the best. They don't need drama with a baby on the way. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.